Hi everybody, and welcome to The Good News. My name is Jeff Shagley, and I'm your host, reporting from Brooklyn slash New York City. This is a show where every day we bring you three pieces of good news in an effort to rehumanize humanity, to show that, hey, there's great stuff going on. And uh, a couple things that we've innovated in the last few shows in doing this every day. Uh, obviously, it snowed last night. We've been doing the weather, added a sock to the phone. This whole thing is made on an iPhone with no extra equipment showing that you can just do this. Um, this microphone doesn't actually work. Uh, it's there because it's gonna work soon. And once I buy a part for it or, or someone gives me a part for it, and I want it to be consistent because it's a thing that used to work and it's gonna become a podcast at some point. Uh, this glass does work. This candle does work. We're adding some warmth. Just added this today and we're safe. We have a fire extinguisher. Also a great company full of a whole bunch of good news. By the way, nudge, nudge, boring company, Tesla, SpaceX, great stuff. Awesome. Shout outs to all you SpaceXers, Teslers, and boring companies. Please keep ro launching rockets to space and drilling big holes under cities and making cool cars that are great for the environment. All right. So one of the things we did is we made a zine. <clears throat> this is uh, a zine is a lightweight magazine for all the all who are new to the term. It just contains uh, a link to the show, kind of a mission about rehumanizing, little clips so people can see it's on YouTube, uh, why we're doing the show, and then highlights from the first six episodes. You know, we do this nonprofit, not for money, not for anything other than to just generously spread and use our time, spread good news, stories of kindness, and rehumanize. And uh, for those of you who are new, re, uh, rehumanize is not even a word in autocorrect. How, in, in the iPhone, how is that possible? Well, it's because we haven't been thinking about it enough. We haven't been conscious of this, this act of rehumanizing because we have to first admit that we've dehumanized ourselves to get here. And I'm not trying to demonize anyone who's been part of the industrial revolution or any of this stuff. God knows that, you know, or uh, uh, any, you know, not, it's not a religious show. I didn't mean to say God knows, but you know, colloquially God knows. Um, and no, no judgment if you are religious. This is a show for all races, religions, genders, creeds, everything. Um, but you know, we know there's been some really bad stuff that's happened, a ton of bad news, a ton of really, uh, you know, humans have done some really horrible things. And not to say that we don't have a lot of work to do and not to dismiss those things, but you know, uh, we're here, we're here now. Those people, they got us here and it's our, it's up to us, it's up to this generation, all the generations that are living right now to rehumanize uh, the stuff, the people that we've dehumanized, to bring us to a new level, to get society going forth. And we handed these out. I went and handed these out. When I say we, it's because I literally feel connected to all the fans, everyone who writes in about the show. It doesn't get a ton of views right now, and it doesn't matter. What matters is of the amount of views it gets, the feedback is unreal. I've never seen anything like it. Thank you all so much for supporting. So I do feel like when I'm standing out there alone on a street corner in Soho, freezing cold, handing these out, I printed 50 of them just to do an experiment and uh, copied them off. And the, the result was awesome. People, some people were really stoked. A lot of people were really stoked. Some people didn't care. One guy said, I don't, even, I don't need that, I don't need good news. Okay, man, do you, that's cool. <coughs> but some people <coughs> were just like, what? No, I'm not selling anything, here you go. And I only gave it to interested parties. I wasn't trying to like force it in people's hands. They loved it. And hi to all you people out there that, <laughs> that gave the great feedback and that, that you know reached out and took one of these and took a chance and a risk that you weren't being sold something. So <clears throat> it was really fun and it was really cool. And it also reminds me, this show is not for everyone. If you believe we're doomed and uh, humanity sucks and all you know people suck and all people, people, then this isn't for you. I'm not going to convince you. I don't want to sell you. I, I don't. I don't have any interest in that. Uh, the only thing I think might bring you around at some point is some beautiful act of kindness someone does for you and restoring your hope. And I'm sorry you have such trauma in life and you've gone through things that have led you to that belief. But I'm not trying to change you or anyone. What uh, <clears throat> what the show and who this show is for is people who believe in the 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 two the one of the one of two choices that we have, which is that. Uh, we have hope and we're not doomed or we're doomed and there is no hope. I believe we have hope. I believe that there's great stuff going on. And this show is for people who believe that we have hope, that we are not doomed, that there is beautiful things, that humanity is great. And uh, I hope to surface three pieces of good news in this show to help support that, that, uh, that assertion. And uh, by the way, if you want one of these zines, hit me up. I will mail one to you. Uh, additionally, then you can copy it and you can give it out if you want. You can drop it in your local coffee shop or wherever just to spread good news. 
This doesn't, this transcends borders. It doesn't have any information that's specific to New York City on it. So uh, if you want one of these, hit me up after the show and I will get you one that you can go to Kinko's, FedEx, whatever, hit photocopy and just run out a bunch of them. It takes 10 minutes. All right, now for your three pieces of good news. Oh, and by the way, I'm sending this episode to Tim Cook because I believe that uh, I'm gonna start this campaign to actually get rehumanized into the autocorrect on the iPhone. And you know, it's not an Apple commercial by any means. Uh, Apple didn't give me anything for this and I'm not trying to get anything from them other than that autocorrect thing, but this is all made on an iPhone, no equipment. Because I wanna show as well, this is a story to help, this is a show to help me keep shipping work, to just get off my butt and stop saying I'll do something tomorrow and just say, and I need money or I need this to do something. No, this can be done with things we have, uh, this kind of stuff or any act of kindness. Which brings me to my first story, which is, the first story comes from Puerto Rico. Oh, that's not my first story at all, darn it. <laughs> I thought it was. You'll hear about this Puerto Rico story in a second. It's really cool. No, 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 you know what? We're agile, we're just gonna make this our first story. And by the way, we don't edit this. Uh, I, there's no editing that happens. So when I say this comes live-ish or um, anything like that, <clears throat> basically what I do is I just chop off the front and the back using the, the video editor in the iPhone. And uh, then I hit upload to YouTube within like five minutes of actually of, of filming this. So <clears throat> where is our Puerto Rico story? Okay, this might be on the news desk. <clears throat> Thanks for bearing with me here. So right before this, I did a take and for whatever reason, the camera stopped recording. So I had to redo it and I went and reorganized and added some notes and I think I left it on the news desk. So we're gonna do this one from memory because it's a real simple story and I believe I remember the name. If not, I'll correct the gentleman's name down below. Puerto Rico, Jose Molina. He is sitting in his car on a highway in bumper to bumper traffic when he hears an ambulance. This ambulance is coming down the road and he sees cars are just not moving. They're not moving far enough, fast enough. They're in traffic too, so it's hard for them to move. <coughs> I've been in this situation, I'm sure you have as well, and uh, I've never seen it this bad. This video looked really bad. These people just were not moving and this ambulance really needed to get through. The video is taken by the ambulance drivers. <clears throat> what happens is, Jose sees people not moving, he gets out of his car and he starts going up to people's windows and telling them to move, nudging people over. Hey, this is serious, get out of the way. He keeps doing this until the ambulance is able to pick up enough speed that he has to run forward to other cars that won't move and help them, nudge them, say, come on, get out of the way. <clears throat> he does this for, I don't know, what it looks like about five minutes. And the ambulance starts picking up more and more speed. <clears throat> What's really cool about this is that this human just did this, right? We can look at these moments and say, oh, look at all these asshats not getting out of the way. Ah, people, screw this, this is so screwed up. He pulled out his car, he pulled over his car, he took action, he jumped out and he helped. We can do this at any moment. Here's the really cool part. He didn't know that what was going on in this ambulance, right? Ambulances pick up people for false alarms or for really serious stuff all the time. Sometimes it's people that are sick with a cold, some of the flu. Sometimes it's people that are having cardiac arrest. This person in the ambulance was actually under cardiac arrest. And the ambulance driver said, if Jose did not get out and help, the patient would have died. He had no idea about that. He just did it. That's awesome. With no expectation of payback or anything, I'm sure. So that brings us to our next story. And the next story, it's inspired by, I, I was doing a bit of a feeling on this idea that when we help people, we get something out of it. And do we, you know, is it okay to selfishly help someone because it helps us in our self-interest and we know we're gonna feel better about it? Sure, but is that the only reason we help? Is, it, is this some kind of like backwards way of saying kind of humans actually suck because we just, we're only helping out of our own self-interest? There's a lot of research that says that we only help out of our own self-interest. And I wanna challenge that, I wanted to understand more. So I went to a book <clears throat> that I've read before, uh, Team Human by Douglas Rushkoff. It's a new book. And it's a book that I love so much that I gave it away before I finished it the first time. I gave it away to a friend in Berlin right after getting it at an event from Douglas where he was speaking and he generously gave out 100 copies. And uh, just right before it was released and I was so excited to give someone this information. I just, I, anyway, the reason I'm mentioning this is because Douglas does a great job in his book talking about the great things that make us together humanity and new research that suggests otherwise counter to this, this existing research. And so I wonder, 
what if it's in his so so i actually gave away my other copy of the book so i don't actually have the book so what i did was i went on medium and luckily douglas is serializing his book on medium so you could read it on medium and there was an article today which i was like just what that says altruism made us human and it's it's an excerpt from douglas's book which i want to read to you right now this is a this will be a fun experiment i haven't done this on the show before <clears throat> And it has a bit of good news in it. So, from Douglas Humans, uh, excuse me, Douglas Rushkoff's Team Human. Thanks to our organic social mechanisms, humans became capable of pair bonding, food sharing, and even collective childcare. Our survivability increased as we learned how to orchestrate simple divisions of labor and trusted one another enough to carry them out. We know this. This is this is a common. That's that's understood. No contest there. Um, <clears throat> The more spectacular achievement was not the division of labor, but the development of group sharing. This distinguished true humans from other humanoids. We waited to eat our bounty until we got back home. Humans are not defined by our superior hunting ability as much, we're as, much as we are by our capacity to communicate, trust, and share. Biologists and economists alike have long rejected social and moral justifications for this sort of behavior. They chalk it up instead to what they call reciprocal altruism. One person does a nice thing for another person in hope that they get something back in the future. You take a risk to rescue someone else's child from a dangerous predator because you trust the other person, or the other parent would do the same for your kid. In this view, and might I add, uh, a very popular view, as I was uh, alluding to earlier, <clears throat> people aren't actually that nice at all. They're just acting on their own behalf in a more complicated way. Now here's the good news. Contemporary research strongly supports a more generous, more generous motives in altruism, which have nothing to do with self-interest. Early humans had a strong disposition to cooperate with one another at great personal cost, even when they could have there could be no expectation of payback. Members of groups who violated <clears throat> social norms of cooperation were punished. Solidarity and community were prioritized in their own right. This is awesome. I'm going to put a link down below to Douglas's book and this uh, his Medium account where this article, this, this excerpt was published, because I can't do it justice on this show. And uh, I don't also expect you to read the whole book, but maybe you'll read some of these excerpts and maybe you'll learn some things that give you a bit more uh, understanding and, and scientific backing for altruistic behavior. And what I want to assert is, Douglas says altruism made us human. I assert that altruism is what is going to rehumanize us and is what makes us human. So we're gonna look for more stories like that and more pieces of good news on the show. Thanks, Douglas. Awesome book, man. Our third story today comes from a stem cell, a stem cell treatment, where this gentleman who we mentioned in earlier episodes had a stem cell treatment. <clears throat> He's a quadriplegic, I failed to mention. This is a quadriplegic gentleman who has been paralyzed from the neck down and told he will never be able to use his hands or feet again. And then he had this stem cell treatment. And within three weeks, he started improving. And we talked about this. He was showing great improvement. But within the last two months, <clears throat> he's actually been able to write his name, pick up a phone and operate his wheelchair. And he continues to improve. So this is beautiful. And there's great stuff happening in modern medicine, as well as some really challenging things uh, and disappointing things. So just want to keep reporting on these good things in modern medicine about people actually increasing lifespans, increasing quality of life, and you know, doctors being kind and people being kind to others. So be sure to subscribe. And uh, we got some shout outs here. Tuppy, <clears throat> miss you dude. Get your butt out to New York. <coughs> Excuse me. Connor, that film, that, that Jake film, awesome. Jake Woodard, awesome. Uh, Samo, Heather, thank you for all the feedback and the love. Same for Katie, you rock. Keep it going, sister. Uh, Jess and Anthony, Steph, Jill, Lauren, Natalie, <coughs> Rika, that was awesome. Dancing, super good party. Kavika, Brophy, Auntie Aloha, <laughs> Aloha Jima, Grandma Boop, Lee Boy. Thanks for that video, that was awesome, man. 
Uh, Jason Silva's legit. Love watching him. Thank you for sending that. <clears throat> and uh, Catherine, keep rocking that art and that music. Your stuff is awesome. Caitlin, right on. <clears throat> All right, everyone. Be well. Be present. Be kind. You can do it. Let's rehumanize. I believe in you. I believe in us. Go team human.